I want to give you guys an analogy. Um, I want you guys to imagine that after this talk is over, you go outside and your mom is up, you know, she's pulled in. Maybe she's with you, but imagine that she's not. And that she's actually come and picked you up from outside the lecture. And you get in the car and she starts to drive. And as she's driving, you ask her, because you don't recognize the, the route that you're taking, you ask her, where are we going? And she says to you, just wait, you'll see. Everybody imagine this? How many of you at this point are calling the police because you're so frightened? Is there anyone who's at this point calling the police, calling 911? I don't know where my mom's taking me. I'm really scared. I think she's going to hurt me. Anyone? OK. Why is it that you're not afraid? It's a very simple question. I mean, a very simple answer. As Trust. Trust. You said it in one word. Because you trust your mother. Now, I, I, I emphasize to you that you actually don't know where you're going, right? So I want you guys to keep that in mind. You don't know where you're going, but you trust the driver. You trust that your mother is not going to take you somewhere and then leave you there in a ditch. She, you trust that she's not going to hurt you. And so because of that trust, even when you don't know the route, even if you don't know where this driver is taking you, you have complete trust that she is not going to harm you. You have complete trust that the driver has your best interest in mind. Do you know what that's called? That's called husn al That means that, see, many of us, we hopefully, have husn al when it comes to our mothers. We, we know that our mother has our best interests in mind. We have a good opinion of our mothers. We trust our mothers. And because of that trust, and because of that good opinion, we don't panic even when we don't know where she's taking us. Now what does that have to do with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah takes us in our lives. Allah is the driver of our lives. And yet many of us, when we don't know where he's taking us, we panic. We do that thing where you call the police and say, I'm scared, I don't know where I'm going. We do that. We, but maybe we're not calling the police. We're calling our friend or we're calling our family member or we're whatever, whoever it is that we're calling. But that feeling of panic, that feeling of, of anxiety is because we don't have enough trust and a good opinion of the driver. Maybe you've taken turns in your life that you never expected. Maybe you went down routes that you never wanted. But if you have a good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know that he will never do something to harm you. Even when you don't understand the route.